People in Baghdad take advantage of the holiday declared for the elections and try and relax despite the violence that's hit this city in the last few days. A massive security operation is underway. The airspace is closed to commercial flights, shops and offices are shut and there's a 10 p.m. curfew. Despite that, people say that they will vote. I'm optimistic for two reasons. Number one, I think people will vote for change. And the second, even people who don't want to change will vote because they don't want to feel cheated. Baghdad is relatively safe. In Ambar province, though, the Iraqi army has been involved in an intense conflict with fighters from the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. Locals there have told Al Jazeera they're afraid to go out and vote. On Monday, the Iraqi army struck oil tankers that they say contained explosives to be used in attacks during the election. Anbar is predominantly Sunni. It accounts for about 17% of the national vote, and Sunni politicians say that without security, the vote will not be full and fair. The army insists it has secured the area. Since the 1st of April, we have mounted an operation in two phases. We are in the second phase now, which is to secure all the polling stations in Ambar for those who are displaced, not only in Ambar, but across Iraq. We will continue the operation until the results come through. Polling day is just the beginning of the process, however. Analysts say that forming a government is the big challenge due to the diverse nature of Iraqi society. When you have so many opponents inside the political process, you must sit down with them and make negotiations, even if they are not with your ethnic, uh, let's say, member, members, or even if he's a Christian, and so on. This is the positive thing about democracy. But making deals and forming coalitions takes time. The important blocs are the Shia, Sunni and Kurds, each with competing agendas within and with each other. In many ways, Iraq's politics is a game of strategy and whatever move the politicians make next will have an impact. Now, last time around, in 2010, it took nearly eight months to form a government. Iraqis will be hoping that it doesn't take that long this time around. But Iraq's politics and society is as fractured as ever, so no one is holding their breath. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.